Hey guys, it's the How To Guy One Two Three here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Windows 8.1 look like Windows 7. So as you can see here, uh, I'm still on Windows 8, and uh, looks pretty good. Looks a lot like um, Windows 7. As you can see, we still have we have the uh, Start menu that uh, you know was taken out of Windows 8, and uh, yeah, so uh, let's get started. Alright guys, so to get started, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to our internet browser. And we're going to want to download Ultra UX Theme Patcher. And uh, the link to download this will be in the description as always. So let's go down to the bottom of the page and it should say download. Let's just go ahead and download it. And it should take about a second to download. Now we're just going to want to open it, then click yes, then uh, this window should pop up, click next, then accept, and next, uh, I agree, and then it should start installing, it shouldn't take too long, then click next, and then now it's going to want you to reboot your computer, so I'm just going to go do so, and I will be right back all right guys so for the next step uh we're just gonna need to go to another link in the description it's the uh, deviant art one and uh pretty much this is the actual uh theme that we're gonna be installing so just go to the side here and uh click download and it should start downloading uh once again it shouldn't take too long to download we're just gonna go ahead and open it with uh you can either use winrar uh 7-zip I'm using a program called Bandizip. It's uh, it's free, and uh, yeah. So uh, we're just gonna want to take this folder like that's in the uh, RAR file or zip file. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, drag it to our desktop for easy access. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it, and you, there should be two files in here. Uh, we're just gonna uh, copy them. And uh, we're just gonna need to go into our documents, whoops, uh, or our, our C drive. Then go to Windows, scroll down to Resources, and there should be a folder in here called uh, Themes. We'll go, we'll go into here, and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, paste these uh, the two files into this uh, folder, and click Continue, and there we go. So now what we can do, we can just exit out, out of here. We can uh, right click, go to personalize, and then I'm just gonna maximize this. And then right here where, it's, where it says installed themes, uh, you should see the Windows 7 uh, theme here. We just go ahead and click on it. And I should say, please wait. And uh, there we go. So uh, there we go, we have our uh, Windows 7 theme, but we actually don't have the start button here. So what we can do is go into the last link in the description uh, to start menu eight. Um, my computer, computer's frozen. Okay, there we go. And um, we're just gonna want to click free download. Then download now. Come on. All right, give it a second. Come on. Mm, restart the download. All right, there we go. So now, once again, won't take long to download. Just gonna want to go ahead and open it. Yes, and then uh, it should open something. There we go. And then click next, accept, next, uh, custom installation, and then uh, uncheck install password box. Next, and then uh, uncheck these and then finish and there we go now this window should pop up then go to start button and make sure classic is selected if you want any other any of these you can still choose them i think the windows the old windows 7 one will look best for this and then go to user interface i'm just checking all these we probably don't need to go through this uh yes make sure the windows 7 one is selected and um, classic Windows 7 
theme and then apply and then okay so if we go to the bottom down here we should have our old start button back and uh, there we go so I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, this tutorial and uh, I'll see you guys later